December 2011, the undersigned assumed command of the United States Army North, 5th Army, and Fort Sam Houston. Signed, William B. Caldwell IV. NORTHCOM's Army Service Component Command, R North, has been on the watch for almost a decade. And since its inception, R North has been a key component in executing our joint missions. During that time, the command's achievement have been impressive. And we have leaned on R North heavily to build partnerships with our federal, state, and private partners, emphasizing whole of government approach to provide effective support and response to incidents and disasters that affect our citizens. Our North has engaged in cooperative and mutually beneficial efforts with our friends, Canada and Mexico, and has spearheaded programs designed to promote security and stability throughout North America. And today I'm delighted to pass the mantle of this great command to Lieutenant General Bill Caldwell to lead this organization and build upon its great accomplishments. There's no better man for the job. Bill, you have served the American people at the farthest and most dangerous reaches of this globe. Now we need you to help us defend our nation a little bit closer to home. As many of you know, my father commanded the 5th Army, as General Jacoby said, from 1978 to 1980. And it is an honor for me to be able to follow in his footsteps. The footsteps of a great commander, a leader, a husband, a father, and my mentor. He told me the other day that he had got everything organized and set up here about 30 years ago so I could just relax and not have to worry about a thing. <laughs> He'd done all the hard work, and now I just need to enjoy it. Well, the size of this state, I would tell you, is equal to what I consider to be the size of the mission that we've been tasked to do by General Jacoby. Our missions of homeland defense and defense support to civil authorities and security cooperation truly are no-fail sacred trust of our governments. We are in direct support of the American people, our main focus, for preparing and being ready for America's worst day, a complex, catastrophic event that could hit us one day here in the United States. Our success in such an endeavor is really measured by the success of others. Therefore, it is imperative and we fully understand and appreciate the need to develop trusted partnerships with other government entities, U.S. agencies, and other uh, foreign elements. The history of the Army in San Antonio is well documented, and nowhere else is that history more clearly appreciated than here in this truly historical quadrangle. In fact, many of you probably heard the sounding alarm that we have built and put in here as a cost saving measure with all the peacocks. When the cannons were going off, they were all sounding off very loudly. Uh, but this truly is a historical uh, military complex, this fort, a part of San Antonio for over 180 years. And I will tell you, as the senior commander here at Fort Sam and Camp Bliss, as I've been tasked by the United States Army, I'll accept those duties. I'll work very hard with my fellow Army commanders and with our Air Force partners to ensure that Fort Sam Houston and Camp Bliss remain exemplary Army communities. 